Mr. Brashonomics, uh, here today, you know, we've been discussing the, the commitments that people make to professionals and the commitments to people's country here on 9-11. And uh, Jim Miller joins us with all flooring wholesalers, flooring cabinets and countertops. Jim, I get Well, hi, how are you, man? Fine, thank you. Good. You know, I guess when people determine the countertops or the floors or whatnot that they want, that's a pretty big commitment, too. I mean, you're kind of committing to to live with some type of material or, or something in your home, aren't you? Yeah, for, for the most part, what it is is they're putting together some choreography as far as some type of uh, process in their house. They're trying to figure out, you know, what cabinets, flooring, countertops, trying to put it down, trying to figure out what kind of options they have and trying to do the right procedure. Some people don't realize that they need to take care of the floor first before the cabinets and Obviously, once they do the cabinets, then the next step is countertops. So, so when you start, you know, you talk about this choreography. How does your company and the service you provide with the products? I guess if we're talking choreography, you're a little bit of the choreographer, uh, and or I guess maybe your clients are. But there's just this element of you know you're trying to piece all of these different things together, these parts of a kitchen or a bathroom or a t- of a home. What what does your company do? I mean, how do you help people? solve that well i think the first step is is that uh, we try to be an all-in-one shop um you know a lot of people they want the service um a lot of times they go to the box stores and don't really get the service that they're looking for don't know the difference between one product or the other or the advantages of having that product in one place or another like for example doing a laminate in the kitchen or bathroom which we don't recommend because it's it's not really good to be around water and a lot of people have strong ideas that that's what they want. And when they come into my shop, one of the things that I like to talk about is try to get their whole spectrum of their whole pro, you know, their their whole process that they're trying to put together. Some people want to, you know, I'll do floors now. Six months later, I'm planning on doing countertops, you know. And then I try to put it together for them so that they can match colors because it, it, everything has to match. And some people... You know, for the most part, they get an idea, well, this Matching is... Matching is good, I mean, when you think about one house, right? Right. Well, if you're doing it all at the same time, whether you're buying now, right now, or six months later, or putting the whole process together, which will take 12 months or 24, it's nice to get an idea of what you want now based on your budget. And I try to fit everything in their budget. So, you know, if you can get an idea of what you're looking at, look at the floor, cabinets, countertops, everything that you're doing... And then that way everything matches. It's kind of like buying a suit and having the tie matched. Don't buy the tie first and then the suit later. Got it. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So really, I mean, there's some bigger components that really need to be thought of before you before you put it. I mean, buy the windows before the window dressing, right? I mean, it's there's some bigger components that really go into, bigger decisions to make before you just start wondering what type of faucet you want. Yeah, I have a lot of people come in and they have dreams of changing out their floor and they say six months to a year they, they're going to get to a point where they're going to change out their cabinets. Well, that's not the right process, you mm-hmm. know, because you don't want to put a whole brand new floor and then change out your cabinets and then now you have to redo the entire floor because you had to cut your flooring out around your cabinets. The best process is do the floor at the same time in the cabinets, tear your cabinets out, do the new floor, put your cabinets on top of the new floor. Now, do most people uh, do most people understand that there's a, a process by which to most effectively, you know, do some of these remodeling projects? I think for the most part they have ideas, but I try to educate the consumer. Like I said, I'm willing to tell them what they should or shouldn't. Everything that, you know, everybody's got an idea of what they like and want. Most people have no idea what it's going to cost when they get there. Um, There's a lot of unforeseens like tear out and removal and prepping of flooring that that people don't understand. They want to go out and buy vinyl or laminate and think, well, okay, it's so much a square foot and how much is it going to cost me to install it? And and, uh, there's their budget. So, So I guess, I mean, so what are some of the materials? We talked about kind of laminate, not maybe that's not the right thing or the right material what are some of the new materials and trends that are going on that you see well you know um when you talk like for a kitchen or a bathroom as an example um we're doing a lot of vinyl um you know vinyl today comes in various different um options and like one of them is coming 13 wide which you know allows you to do an entire kitchen without any seams and it comes in various gauges 
So the, based on the advantages of the gauges, you're looking at anywhere from 10, 15, 20 year warranties. It's virtually indestructible. But you can also put a vinyl together if you really like wood and you didn't necessarily want to do a tile look. You could do a vinyl plank process, which is really nice, and it's convenient so that you can get the wood look, not have to worry about any water damage later. So, I mean, vinyl's making a comeback. It is. Well, I mean, most of us are used to the linoleum process, which is a paperback process, but uh, this is more of a fiberglass process now, and it's it's virtually indestructible. Uh, you can actually repair it. You can cut a, let's say, for example, you have it in tiles, you can cut out a 12 by 12 tile and put a new piece in and seam it. You'll never know where the seam was. Hmm. Interesting. So then when you start looking at these new trends, I mean, in the materials, I mean, that must be where a lot of people, I, I would guess people are like, I really am looking for vinyl today. But there must be some, so the professionalism goes into like, well, you really want a new floor and here are the options that will help you fit your budget. Yeah, well, we deal with tile and we deal with hardwood. We deal with engineered and solid and and. And then we also deal with laminate. So a lot of people, when they come in looking for wood, they really have no idea what they're looking for. They just like the look. Um, some of the laminates, their locking process, a lot of people like to do that because they feel it's a, a true do-it-yourself option um, until they do it themselves. <laughs> uh, so, it's because they make it look so easy on TV. And, and for the most part, it is. But until you get to around the edges and the sides and the corners and cutting around doors and jams, and, and that, that becomes a whole different ballgame. Certainly. We're here with Jim Miller, owner of All Flooring Wholesalers. Um, Jim, we have a couple minutes left before we have to go to break. You know, a lot of people, when they see, and we talked about the commitment, but and you talked about the durability of vinyl. But a lot of people, I mean, they, these are big commitments. And they are for, for not only financially, but also you're probably not going to get new cabinets every year. Um, what what are some of the, are these things becoming more durable? Are most of these products, if you don't buy them, it may be Ikea becoming more durable? Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of the warranties. Is in Nothing a lot of, against Ikea, of course, but, you know, <laughs> I've never had anything from Ikea that actually stayed together very long. Yeah, because you had to put it together. Well, that, that's what my wife would say. She's like, well, Ben, it probably wasn't the Ikea. It was probably your your workmanship. <laughs> Yeah, well, we're like, talking about a table, man. Yeah, <laughs> for our kid. <laughs> well, well, the big thing is, is that a lot of the products out there have some fantastic warranties on, and they're designed for durability. Uh, some of the solid woods have such a um, such a coating or, or been treated that they're actually warranted up to fifty years. Um, you have to do some serious damage to. You know, drive a truck over it, I guess, to really ruin it. But. With snow tires. Yes, chains. Chains. I mean, I mean, so there's some really durable stuff that really can last a long time, it sounds like. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, Jim, thanks so much for joining us again. Jim Miller, owner of All Flooring Wholesalers. And, uh, you know, when you start making those decisions, I guess, once again, you know, we've talked at length about with, like, real estate and finance and mortgage, but knowing your options before you can choose something and it really does seem like, you know, you're doing a great job. Help people understand their options in doing some of these type of remodel projects. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you for joining us. We do have to go to break. When we come back, you know, hey, you're going to have to maybe buy a house before you can remodel it. Alex Matthews joins us from Century 21 Real Estate. We'll be right back after this break. Music. 